Hey there guys and welcome to another Crytam photography video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the orange and teal effect in your photos using Adobe Lightroom, Ugh, Lightroom for mobile. So um, there's a link in the description below where you can download it for Android and iOS so do check it out. Um, so once you've loaded your image of choice into Adobe Lightroom there are a couple of things before you even choose your image uh, that you need to think about. So um, I've got here a picture of my friend and she's wearing this hoodie that's got an orange uh, sort of main fur thing at the front um, and also she's got a blue jacket on as well as the sky behind her is also blue. So I've really got these colours in the image that are going to help to um, bring out the effect um, to make it a bit more realistic as well but not saying that you can't do this with any other image um, it just works a lot better. So let's get to it. Um, Adobe Lightroom has changed a bit uh, so it's had a few upgrades um, and I haven't yet done it on the channel so this is my first um, use of the app um, and showing you how to use it. Um, there is at the bottom of the screen um, a couple of features but the only ones that we're going to deal with today are light, color and effects. So I'm going to go in that order and I'm going to show you how um, it works. So the first one you want to click on is light. And that brings up sort of your exposure controls and so on. Um, and for this particular image, I was slightly overexposed. So I'm going to reduce that a little bit. And maybe by one stop of exposure. There we go. Um, and I'm going to increase the contrast. And I'm actually going to reduce the highlights. The reason being is I want to bring that sky back in, um, the blue sky. And there we are and maybe increase the shadows. Let's get a bit more light in there. There we are. Okay, uh, a little bit more whites. And some blacks in there as well, just to add some uh, punchier clarity. Okay, so once I've done that, um, the next thing I suggest you do is go and tap on the next icon, which is this uh, bulb looking one. This is actually your color icon. And that will bring up um, all the controls for color. Now, this is where Adobe, Adobe Lightroom seems to do very well, is it's got this button here, which I'm most interested in, is called Mix. So if you tap on the Mix one, it brings up a spectrum of colors. Um, so you can actually pick and choose to take out certain colors in your image, change the hue, change the saturation, and even the brightness of the colors. So this is something that a lot of the other apps are lacking. And this is where I kind of like Adobe Lightroom for having this feature. Okay, so the colors, as I mentioned before, are going to be blue, yellow, and orange that we're going to be focusing on. So I'm going to go into the blue. Um, setting there and I'm actually going to only adjust the hue because I want to get that teal color. So round about minus 80, uh, minus 70 to 80 is where you start to get that teal color in there. And as you can see, as I pull it down, get that lovely uh, teal in the blues, uh, the bright blues there. Okay. And I'm actually going to go into the green uh, spectrum because I actually want to remove the green spectrum out. Uh, so I'm going to just drop the saturation completely. And as you can see, it takes out all the green out of the image. Um, and I'm going to go into the yellow. Now there's a bit of debate about this. This is purely up to taste. I've had a few uh, YouTube videos that I've watched where I've watched people, um, other YouTubers take the um, only deal with the orange and blue and try and get this orange and teal effect. And it doesn't work. And the reason being is yellow is such a dominant color. Um, for most of the oranges that you'll see. So I uh, tend to only play with the um, yellow one and just drop the hue. And as you can see there, the whole main changes literally. Um, and it seems to work really well rather than just using orange because if I use orange and drop it down, it also affects um, her face as well um, and doesn't do a great job. But it's each, each and everyone's taste basically. So I'm quite happy with the colors so far. So I'm gonna hit done there. 
I'm going to leave the other colors because I don't really want to mess with too much otherwise you start taking out colors from her face and um, some of the jacket as well uh, so I'm going to add a bit more saturation and I'm going to add a tiny bit of vibrance not too much and I'm going to go back down to the settings here and I'm going to select the little frame um, box there which is actually the effects button so tap on there and it brings up the new menu as well but now you've got this option for clarity and split tone so these are the two things I mainly focus on is just add a tiny bit of clarity to there and split tone so split tone basically is um, control of the colors of your highlights and shadows so I'm going to show you what I mean um, and if I take the spectrum there and I just move it across there you'll notice how everything that's sort of in the highlights area um, is going to be affected by a certain color now I um, used for highlights I would use the orange because that's a brighter color and I don't want to add too much because I don't want to make it look too uh, over processed just a hint of that orange in there okay and for the shadows I'm going to use the teal so I'm going to pull it all the way up to the teal and I'm going to just drop it down slightly so the top part of the, that spectrum is where you're going to get more of the color um, but round about the bottom is where I kind of want to be I just want a tiny little control there not too much and not too little and there we have it so and then at the bottom of the screen you've got the balance meter balance thing here so basically it's if you want less less shadows uh, being controlled by a certain color or highlights being controlled by a certain color um, you can sort of play around with the balance there if you didn't get it right and uh, let's see I want to go roughly about there I want a warmer tone yeah so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna hit done and I'm gonna go back into the um, exposure the, the light settings here and the thing that I'm interested in after this is the curves tool so I'm gonna hit the curves tool there and you get your normal option if you see my videos um, about how to get the uh, film look please check out I'll pop a link in the description below where you can also check out all my other stuff but there's one there on the film that actually explains a bit more about the um, the curves tool in there so the main thing is to get this S curve to give that film look so I'm just gonna pull up there at the bottom and I'm gonna pull that about here I can adjust it slightly and there There we are. I still want to maintain that hue in the sky. And there we go. So once you're happy with your image, hit done. And this is basically my tutorial on the orange and teal effects. So let's have a look at before. And that's what we started with and after. Brilliant. All right, so that's all I've got for today, folks. Um, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Also, as usual, the music is made by myself, so do show us some love on that SoundCloud. And yeah, if you've got any comments or reviews or stuff that you want me to uh, do uh, tutorial-wise, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Cheers.